Today I'm going to be showing you how to import custom assets into your Fortnite creative map. So in this video we're going to be using the web, uh, website Sketchfab. Once you're on your website you want to type up your character that you want or any free model that you can want to look for. So in this example I'm just going to type up Fortnite. I find a um, character that I want. So I'm just going to pick this skin on Fortnite. You can also pick any one. So when you, when you press download 3D model there should be a file which is FBX. That's the only one that you should be using. But unfortunately this one doesn't have it so I'm going to have to find a different skin. I have found one that works and it's going to be an FBX file. You want to press download. So you want to go back into your EFN once you've got um, downloaded. You also want to, um, you also want to extract the files. Uh, you're going to need to use WinRAR for that. But I'm not going to show you how to do it in this tutorial. So the, the skin, the item that you've imported, it should be in your fo as a folder. You're going to press open. You're going to go in the folder and it should say source. You're going to press this and you're going to find the actual 3D object. But uh, import it, and of course, it's not going to have any textures added to it right now. Go over all this and go back on it. See that our character has just the like, the actual boat, like the actual just bones of the skin, and there's nothing to it right now. All of the textures that are in the textures, or every single one of them, stuff can get a bit messy if you have them all together. So you might want to make separate folders for each of these. So you're going to see these two materials. Now these are materials which should be able to like, actually color in your skin. So we're gonna we're gonna click on this bot uh, the body one first. So once you're in this, you wanna also just delete already done one by deleting it. Go back to the content drawer and you wanna drag it, you're gonna look in the and look at each one of these textures and see the where that, that is at for. So you can see this is a body, so I'm gonna drag this out. So I'm gonna drag out every one of them which has a body in it. I am of course doing the body first. I've got all the textures on here. The way you know how to uh, where your link is up, we wanna um, go into the photo and we'll see that it says D D G A. So the letter D that's in the middle there, what it represents as the the what it is on here. Uh, that it's got a little uh, letter next uh, in the middle of them. So of course this has an N in it. So this is going to go to normal. Uh, e you got E to it. So this is going to go to a missive color. And the word the letter D represents base color. Now you want to like simply just link each one of these. This one represents E. So um. For the RGB, I'm gonna get this color. This is N, so I'm gonna find the N on it. Normal, normal. You wanna press the apply button. You can click out of this. You can see that our character is slowly coming together. We've got the body of the skin, but we now need to do the head. Again, you wanna delete this again. Now you wanna import the other part of the character. So now we're doing the head, so we're gonna import all the head textures. So this is D, so we're gonna link, uh, link it to base color. N, so we're gonna have to link this to normal. S. So we're going to link this to specular, and then we've got E, which is of course a misplay. First, uh, what represents it? We're going to press apply. Now we should have the full character fully constructed, and there we go. There's our full. Now we want to drop it down, which is probably going to be massive. And there we go. We got a full size, like a team leader. Now UEFN map. Here you go. That's how you import UEFN. Now, of course, some of the stuff that you may import may be harder to do. Um, I like more, um, yeah, some, you, might, you may have to do more of these textures, materials, but yeah, it's just the same basic things, you've got to find the, the letter in the middle which represents the material node, all this stuff looks perfectly, you may, you may want to like organise them, there you go, that's the simple tutorial on how you do this, uh, thanks for watching, Don't to like, subscribe, if you want to, you just go bingy in the front item shop, goodbye.